Hi guys! The new Marlin 2.0 has been around for some time now, but many people still have some questions about how the new Marlin works in comparison with the older versions, and there have been some myths about this new version as well. So, in this video, we will cover some of those myths. You want to know more? Stay tuned! Hey you guys, welcome back! But before we start, and if you are not a subscriber yet, go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you can follow all our videos. And if you like our work and wish to help us make more cool videos, please join our Patreon page or click on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. And now, here are some of the myths about Marlin 2.0 that we have gathered so far. Marlin 2.0 will only work on 32-bit boards. False. Up until version 1.1.9, Marlin was designed only for 8-bit boards. Then it was completely redesigned and it now supports both 8-bits and 32-bit boards. The release of version 2.0 not only included the support for the new 32-bit boards, but also included many improvements to existing features and added new features that were not available in version 1.1.9. Marlin 2.0 requires more programming memory when compared with version 1.1.9. True. As we mentioned before, Marlin was completely redesigned with version 2.0 and the same features from version 1.1.9 will take more programming space on version 2.0. As an example, if we compile the standard configuration for an Ender 3 printer, Marlin 1.1.9 will take 94% of memory space, while version 2.0 will take 96%. Marlin 2.0 is too big and does not fit in most 8-bit boards. True and false. Not all 8-bit boards are equipped with the same microcontroller. Some boards are equipped with an Atmega 644 microcontroller. This microcontroller has only 64K of programming memory, but Marlin 2.0 also has config files for these chips. Printers like the TV Rug Round 2, for example, Use this microcontroller and you can compile the config files for Marlin 2.0. Boards like the one that comes with the Creality Ender 3 or Ender 5, for example, use a Netmega 1284 microcontroller. This microcontroller has 128K of programming memory. The standard Ender 3 config file will take 96% of the total free space. For these boards, and because the memory space is very limited, you need to check and enable only the features you really need. If you plan on installing a BL Touch sensor and enable this feature in Marlin 2.0, for example, it will not fit, unless you disable a few things to save some memory space, like turning off the speaker, reducing the number of menus on the screen, eliminate boot screens, and disable the junction, deviation, arc, linear advance and baby steps feature. If you want to keep some of these features and still have the mesh leveling, you need to use a different type of sensor or try the new manual probing feature available on Marlin 2.0. Boards like the MKS Gen L, on the other hand, have an Atmega 2560, which is also an 8-bit microcontroller, but has 256K of programming memory. It's basically twice the memory when compared with the microcontroller from the Creality board. That means that you can flash Marlin 2.0 in these boards, enable many features and still have free memory space left. Marlin 2.0 will burn the 8-bit boards. False. Some users have the idea that the less powerful 8-bit microcontrollers cannot handle the stress of all the math being made in the background and will overheat and burn when running Marlin 
To test this, we ran several tests using a stock Ender 3 Creality board equipped with an Atmega 1284 microcontroller. We flashed Marlin 1.1.9 and 2.0 with the same features that require lots of calculations and we measured the temperatures. While running Marlin 1.1.9, the microcontroller's temperatures were around 35 degrees C. While running Marlin 2.0, the temperatures were around 37 degrees C. The difference is only 2 degrees, but anyway, it's perfectly inside its wide operating temperature limits. To compile and flash Marlin 2.0 in 8-bit boards, we need to install a different compiler software. False. If you want to compile Marlin 2.0 for an 8-bit board, you can still use Arduino IDE. However, for 32-bit boards, Arduino IDE will not work. And for those boards, you need a different compiler, such as Atom, together with Platform I.O., or Visual Code Studio, together with Platform I.O. A printer equipped with an 8-bit board will print slower with Marlin 2.0. False. While printing, the microcontroller runs many calculations per second. 32-bit microcontrollers will make the same calculations a lot faster when compared with 8-bit boards. This means that some features are possible with 32-bit boards that are not with 8-bit ones. One example is the driver microstepping. 32-bit boards can handle more microsteps resolutions while 8-bit boards cannot. But Considering that you keep all the settings that your printer is capable of, if you use all the same configurations and features, the print time will stay the same either you use Marlin 1.1.9 or 2.0. The print quality will improve with Marlin 2.0. True and false. After you install Marlin 2.0, it's possible to see differences on the prints using the same G-code. You can see improvement with Marlin 2.0 or the opposite. The differences can be caused by different settings or features being enabled or disabled between versions. One example of this is the junction deviation feature that is enabled by default on Marlin 2.0 and disabled by default on Marlin 1.1.9. Linear Advance is another feature available on both versions of Marlin but it was improved on the latest versions. The developers have announced that the first version of Marlin has ended and there will be no more updates. However, in March of this year, they released version 1.1.9.1 with a few more updates. And that's it you guys. Hope you liked the video and if yes, please give it a like. Also, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow us also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will see you guys next time. Bye!